Yo guys, are you more of a flashy mechanical player who can hit stuff like this? Or are you a smarter player who hits respectable flicks and makes simple outplays? Well, today we get to see which type of player is better in 1v1. We have four matches planned, with our final match being a pretty intense Supersonic Legend matchup, so make sure to watch till the end for that. I'm also going to give $50 to the winner of this match, so not only will we get to see which type of player is better in their respective ranks, but we will get to see which type of player performs better under pressure. Oh, and I'm planning on making this video a series and testing this in 2v2 and 3v3 and increasing the dollar amount, so if you're interested in maybe participating, I recommend subscribing so you can have a chance to be in these. To help pay for this video series is today's sponsor, Frag. Pro Shooter. Frag is one of the best shooter games out there and is specifically designed for mobile devices. There are almost 60 million players and if you'd like to join them, there is a link in the description that you can use to sign up and you'll get exclusive rewards. So I play mobile games every day and Frag has been super fun. Here's how it works. You can collect more than 80 characters who all have their special rules and power. Then you create and build a strategy deck to destroy enemy bunkers. I personally love going into 2v2 mode where I pair up with another player and we both select three characters characters each to fight against the other team. Something I like is the fact that Frag is always adding fresh content and the most recent update includes Stella the Good Witch. I went ahead and created a club and game called Seabell, so if you end up downloading, please go join my crew. Again, Frag set up a link that you can use in the description that will give you free rewards, even for those of you who are already playing the game. You guys should definitely give this game a shot, and thanks again to Frag for sponsoring this video. Alright, so we're gonna start in Platinum with Big Poppy Bean, who says, I focus on game sense more because I'm only a plat, and I think that it's better to focus on game sense more than mechanics at my rank. And he is going against Maybe Baby, who says, I'm more mechanical than smart because my teammates are lower ranked than me, so I am forced to play more mechanical. Let's see if mechanics or smarts wins this game. God, this car is obnoxious. I'll tell you that much. Wow. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Big Poppy Bean just bumped Maybe Baby into the ball. If he's not smart, I don't know what he is. Man, that, that boost is gonna kill me. Oh my. Very loud car. It's an intimidation factor from Big Poppy Bean. He scores again. Looks like Big Poppy Bean is not gonna secure the open goal. Mechanics failed him this time. Oh no, he's he's going for the corner boost. Oh, goes for the bump. Doesn't even need it. Maybe baby again. Gonna have all this space to work with. Big Poppy keeps going for that back boost. I think he actually missed it too. Not so smart, but hey, these guys are platinum. Mistakes like that can happen. Let's see what Big Poppy was thinking there. Oh, nice, nice. I, I knew that was gonna happen too. He knew that was going to happen. I told you he was smart. Like, I want to get good at mechanics, don't get me wrong. But like, I just, at the moment, it just seems like, you know, you play... I'm so, we're so low of the of rank. It's just, it seems so... so I don't know what you're doing over there! It's a person being I can see why he's more mechanical. It's hard to think while you're getting yelled at by mom. Maybe, baby, another open shot! Oh no, Big Puppy almost own goaling! Big Poppy, what are you doing? Oh no. That's so unfortunate. The mechanical plat goes up another goal here, and then Big Poppy Bean takes a shot from downtown and scores the easy goal. He needs a save, waiting in net. A really big shot was taken. Maybe Baby needs to take the shot. He's taking his time. Big Poppy with these flips, they are killing him. I say I'm, I'm saying I'm the smart mechanic. Uh, you're the mechanic, I'm the smart guy, and I'm just over here missing. <laughs> Not much time remains for Mr. Poppy Bean, but he does a good job staying back here to secure the goal. This is where the mechanical player needs to just secure the win, but instead he plays it upfield, and Big Poppy Bean scores to tie it up. This is a super close game. Does the mine or does mechanics break down with the pressure of being in a video and $50 on the line? Big Poppy going for the pop. Not gonna do enough. Another pop in the air. Big Poppy needs to make a play. Really needs to make a play here. Maybe, maybe with a big shot. It's on the corner and makes the goal. I shouldn't have come up for that. Uh, uh, if I would detect my post right now. Oh my goodness. So the mechanical player wins in this Platinum 1 matchup. I know it's only one game, but I think it looked like mechanics are definitely more important to work on if you're in Platinum because some of those misses were just 
brutal. Match two will be between Diamond Threes with Marmy, who says, I mainly go for ground plays and fakes over crazy air dribbles and stuff. I practice the basics over everything else, so I am not a mechanically skilled player. And Azaburb, who says, I put 80% of my time in Rocket League and in mechanics and in training packs. I don't really get into games and just play, so I don't really have the game sense that people do. This Marmy mostly goes for ground plays and fakes over crazy air dribbles or anything. So we're going to see Marmy probably staying on the ground a lot here. As a already going up, definitely working on those mechanics, but misses the shot. Oh my goodness. You would expect these smarter players to kind of wait for the mechanical players to make mistakes. Marmy does a little bump. Doesn't take it up the wall. And yeah, very smart play there, actually. Bro, my thumbs are falling off the controller sticks. I hate it. <laughs> Yo, so playing a match like this with some money on the line can be nerve wracking. I want to see who can do better under this pressure, though. Any commenters out there who thinks this is easy and could do better, let me know. Oh, he went for the air dribble bump. An absolute savage. Marmy's definitely just taking his time, already going back to goal. He knows. Oh, Azza with a nice shot, though. Can he fix it? Can he fix it? As a verb is definitely not afraid to show off some mechanics and goes for this flip reset. I kind of have the same play style as as a verb, not afraid to go up for shots, but the recovery is so important and Marmy is going to score because of the risky play. So as a verb is down three to one, but both are pretty nervous. So anything can happen. Ah, just flicks right over him. Marmy knows he can't just let him shoot. I don't know about you guys, but you can definitely tell that as a verb is better mechanically. No, oh, good shot, good shot. I knew it was coming, just couldn't react to it in time. He's definitely not trying to do anything flashy. Probably take this off the wall and wait. He's gonna wait for Azaburb to make a mistake to score. Definitely misses the mechanics there. Azaburb takes advantage and scores again. This game could go either way still. A minute left, only one up for the mechanical player. Marmy just, yeah, like you said, he's gonna do these normal flicks. As a verb didn't get there, no way. Definitely going all the way back here. As a taking up in the air, going for the flip reset. Oh, he fakes it. Nope. Marmy reads that. A smart play by just waiting, letting As a verb do his Bruh. thing, but misses the open net as well. We're down to 30 seconds, tie game. This game is going to overtime too. Who is going to be the first to crack? Oh, this is actually really scary. Yeah. No. No way. No. Let's go. No. <laughs> Classic ones. The kickoff decides the game. Azaburb was one good flip reset away from winning, but it may not have been the smartest play, and he ended up losing. On to match three between grand champs. Felix says he's a smarter player because I don't see the need to be mechanical when you could be smart, especially in ones where you can't really do much in the air without it neither needing to go in or conceding. And he'll be up against Waffle, who says, I find more fun learning new mechanics and going for cool shots. Oh, dude, I'm so washed. Ah, oh, same, dude. Let's go. I mean, I'm not good at mechanics. I'm also very monkey, I'm sorry. I think when you reach a certain rank, no matter how good you might actually be, you always think you're trash. And you know what? I kind of feel this too. So this is what you get to look forward to when you hit Grand Champ. So stay innocent, boys. Waffle goes up here and takes the risky play, placing all his trust in his mechanics. Felix doesn't mind though, because he scores the open net. These two are very different players. So how did you come up with the name Waffle? Uh, dude, that's kind of just my IRL nickname. Uh, do you like waffles then? Yeah. Felix is just gonna wait. Waffle has all the boost now. He actually gives it away. Oh my goodness. Felix just gets an open net. That was not smart. It's so easy to tell which player is which in these matches. The smarter player is playing way slower and not really leaving the ground, while the mechanical player doesn't hesitate too much to go up. If the mechanical players actually hit every shot they went up for on target, they'd probably win every game by five. Enough boost now to go for the flick. He doesn't get it. Felix now just has to catch the ball. Easy shot. Smart player goes up one more goal. It's three to two. 14 boost, definitely a power shot coming. Felix just... Has full boost and waits. Waffle, another mistake. Just kind of gave the ball away to Felix. This game is far from over. Felix moving up. Gonna take his time. You know, he doesn't doesn't just go for it. He's gonna have a good move over here and just beats Waffle on the slow play. So the smart player is up by three. There's no way he can lose this lead, right? Like, he's the smart player. 
but this isn't a normal 1v1 game. There is pressure and money and winning too easily doesn't fit the script for me. So yeah, it's tied up somehow. Will better mechanics or better brains win this match in the end? Right now, it looks like our mechanical player Waffle is gonna win this. Easy. Waffle with a great kickoff, plenty of boost. Felix with a very nice save. Waffle too aggressive there. I think it's gonna be an open net for Felix. We are tied going down to 17 seconds. Felix has scored like five out of his six goals with open nets. Impressive. Gets a 50 win, goes to the boost. Waffle's gonna have time to get back here, but Felix is gonna take his time. Oh my goodness, Waffle just drives right past him. I mean, you can easily get it back. Duh, don't jinx me now. <laughs> oh no, not <laughs> jinx, what's up? <laughs> And now we're in our third overtime of this video. I think making someone with good game sense and bad mechanics go up against someone with bad game sense and good mechanics of the same rank is some sort of guarantee for a perfectly even match. Waffle goes for the challenge. All he has to do is hit the shot. All he has to do is hit the shot. And it is game over. That match goes to the mechanical player, which is surprising, but I think that if Felix protected his lead by not letting Waffle shoot as much, it could have easily gone to him. And just like that, we are in the final match with two Supersonic Legend 1s players. The smart player, Bolting, says, I can read my opponents really well and use that to score a goal that's easier. Also, I just don't have great mechanics for an SSL. And Hykro says, I've practiced freestyling slash specific mechanics over game sense for thousands of hours. Let's see who can win. Bolting with a really good, oh my God. No way. I thought that was gonna be right out of the gate. That was kind of whack. Hykro, oh my God. The play over the center dunks him like nothing. Definitely more mechanical play there. Does a tornado spin, dunks Bolting in the face. So at this rank, both Supersonic Legends are capable of hitting crazy shots and have great mechanics. So being smart is much more valuable at this rank because they will take advantage of any mistake made by the other player. Like that, Bolting just kind of waited on the ground and then he had to take a gold level shot. Oh my goodness, what a shot there. Bolting notices that Hykro is going for the boost and has a little bit of time here to make the shot and just takes an absolute banger, 105 kilometers per hour into the, into the net away from Hykro. Bolting has the potential to hit basically any shot, so as long as he keeps making good decisions, he should win this easy. Wow, that was actually kind of a dirty dribble play, and just like that, he is up 3-1 to one against Mr. Mechanical. Now Hykro has a play here. A quick flick over Bolting's head, not sure if he's going to challenge or not. Bolting, smart, takes it into the net. Now, being smart is one thing, but you can't always play slow and wait for the ideal situation. Hykro is figuring out that Bolting is playing slower and can start challenging more often and gets another goal. Hykro now on his own field. Bolting with a challenge is actually going to work. Bolting is just going to take it right around Hykro. Brutal mistake by Hikro. Went for the boost. Thought he had a little bit of time. He thought Bolting was maybe going to take this out away from him. Bolting is now up by three. There's pretty much no way he loses. But Hikro kind of has to make a last ditch effort if he's going to win this. Ceiling. A flip reset. Into a stall shot. What an absolute madman. Let's see what Bolting has to say about that shot. Oh, I got clipped on. <laughs> Bolting just got freestyled on, so the next natural move is to try something too. Oh no. Kickoff, so unfortunate. Oh, he's clipping. Oh, he's clipping. Oh no, I got Let's clipped! Go. No, I got clipped! No! <laughs> I got clipped on, no! But in the end, Bolting, the smarter player, wins this match pretty easily. So here's my summary of these matches. Get smart, get good, and get ready for part two and three. Later!